Hi guys, this is part two for the problem. What does it call again? The monochromatic light and the 30-60-90 prism. Okay, so we we were left at the problem number four, and uh, it was asking what is the theta one max, the maximum value of theta one for which the incident beam experienced total internal reflection at the horizontal surface of the prism. Okay, I was reading the problem wrong way. I, I thought the, the light is coming here and it should reflect out of it, which is impossible because this N here is less than this N. And the total reflection should happen from um, bigger N to a less N. But when I read it again, they want the reflection to be at this point here. Okay. So it was a reading problem with me, which is stupid. Anyway, so they want to find this angle, okay, that makes um, that makes the light get um, total reflection here. It doesn't pass through here, okay. It doesn't go down like in the problem before, where where it did reflect here, okay? So we need to find a different angle that makes um, the light here go horizontal or get reflected. But we want to find the critical angle, okay? All right, so the first thing is we need to find this guy, okay? How we find this guy is simply by doing um, N, and so we're going from the N glass or N, prism sine of um, the theta one equal um, the n the n air okay because we're going to air and then sine you can see it's a 90 degrees here okay all right so sine inverse one divided by the air is 1 divided by the NG which we found in the previous video 1.445 for this guy we'll get inverse of 1 divided by 1.445 I got 43.79 so it's 43 oops wow 43.79 degrees. This is for this guy. Okay. All right. Cool. So let's do some trigonometry now. Okay. So we have this guy here, and and let's let's find this guy here, which is. 90 minus this guy, the other guy. So it's 90 minus what we got, 43.79. So 90 minus the answer. And I got 46.2. Okay, so this total angle is, let's find it. So it's 180 degrees. This is the whole triangle. Okay, will be equal to um, this angle include the phi two. Okay, All right. So 180 degrees will be equal to the 30 degrees plus the 46.2, which is this guy here, the one we found from this. Um, 46.2, then plus let's call this angle. A, this B, and this is C. So the triangle is A, B, C. Okay. Alright, so the angle A then here. Cool. So let's find this. So 180 minus the answer minus 30. So it's 103. So the angle A is equal 103.3. Seven nine, okay. All right, so we need to find the um, phi two here. Okay, this angle here, 
and this is perpendicular. The blue line is perpendicular to the line, okay? All right, the normal. All right, so let's find this, which is the answer minus 90 degrees. We'll get 13.79, okay? So our phi 2 will be equal to um, the angle A, which is 103.79 minus 90 degrees. So phi 2 will be equal to 13.79. Okay, cool. Alright, so we have this guy and we need to connect it to this guy in order to find this guy, the theta out. Okay, so we connect them by the, that law, I forgot the name, right? I'm still forgetting it. Anyway, so, sign, so we're going from the NG and glass or prism. Um, theta, um, no, it's phi here, phi 2 equal to n air, because we're going to air, sine of just the theta, which is this guy here, okay? So the ng is 1.445 times the sine of 13.79, okay? So sine of the answer and this will be divided by um, 1 the n air so sine answer times 1.445 will be equal to this and take the sine inverse you get 20.15 so this sine inverse one so the Theta here we got 20.15 degrees. Okay, so we need to find this guy. Okay, and this is not 90 degrees. The 90 degrees is with from here to here. This is the 90 degrees. So what is this guy? This guy from here to here is 30 degrees. Okay, it's the same. The Z shape, so 30, 30. So the 90 degrees will be equal to 30 plus 20.15, right, plus the theta 0. So let's do this. So 90 minus mm, the answer minus 30. So we got 39. So theta out will be equal to 39.84 degrees. All right, so this is the answer for number four. Cool. Okay, let's do the um, number four, number five. Okay, so th 